Hi friends, uh, welcome back to my channel, Universe of Physics. Let us discuss uh, one more concept uh, uh, related to dual nature of radiation and matter. That is, de Broglie waves or matter waves. De Broglie waves. Waves or matter waves. Deep Broglie waves are matter waves. Then, uh, what do you mean by uh, deep Broglie waves or matter waves? Let us discuss about uh, this matter waves. That is, the waves associated, the waves, the waves associated, the waves associated with the material particles. The waves associated with the material particles, material particles in motion, in motion are known as, known as matter waves, matter waves or also known as de Broglie waves, de Broglie waves. What are matter waves or de Broglie waves? The waves associated with the material particles in motion are known as matter waves or de Broglie waves. And according to de Broglie, like radiation like radiation matter matter also has dual nature dual nature that is just like uh, radiation matter also has dual nature then what do you mean by that according to de broglie according to de broglie just like radiation some material particles like uh, electron neutrons also exhibits some wave properties it means when the particles which are at rest they exhibits particle nature if the particles which are in motion under suitable conditions the exhibits wave nature this is nothing but dual nature of matter you know that just like uh, dual nature of uh, radiation this uh, material particles also exhibits wave nature along their particle nature this is nothing but dual nature of matter next uh, we have to discuss about uh, uh, de Broglie wavelength de Broglie wavelength then what do you mean by de Broglie wavelength de Broglie wavelength that is expression for expression for expression for de Broglie wavelength de Broglie or before that uh, we have to discuss uh, about uh, what is de Broglie wavelength what is de Broglie wavelength? That is de Broglie wavelength. We know that the waves associated with the material particles in motion, the waves associated with the material particles in motion are known as matter waves or de Broglie waves. Then what do you mean by uh, de Broglie wavelength? It means the wavelength associated with the material particles in motion we call as de Broglie wavelength. That is the wavelength, the wavelength, the wavelength 
associated the wavelength associated the wavelength associated with the material particles the wavelength associated with the material particles is known as is known as the de broglie wavelength is known as de broglie wavelength is known as de broglie wavelength what is de broglie wavelength the wavelength associated associated with the material particles in motion we called as de broglie wavelength then what is the expression for de broglie wavelength or how do you get that expression for de broglie wavelength let us discuss about that so that is uh, expression for de broglie wavelength expression for de broglie wavelength expression for de broglie wavelength expression for de broglie de broglie wavelength expression for de broglie wavelength we know that uh, according to uh, max planck's quantum theory of radiation according to according to according to max planck's according to max planck's quantum theory of radiation quantum theory of radiation according to max planck's quantum theory of radiation the energy of photon is given by the energy the energy of photon is given by is given by that is e is equal to h nu call this as equation 1 where h is the planck's constant where h is the planck's constant and nu is the frequency of the radiation and also we know that that is uh, according to einstein's uh, theory of relativity or einstein's uh, mass energy relation we know that it is given by e is equal to mc square this is from einstein's mass energy relation or from einstein's theory of relativity we can write e is equal to mc square e is equal to mc square and by equating these two equations that is uh, according to max planck's quantum theory of radiation the energy of each photon is given by e is equal to h nu so h is the planck's constant and nu is the frequency of the radiation and e is equal to mc square where m is the mass of the particle mass of the particle mass of the particle or say the speed of light say the speed of light speed of light in vacuum or phase space so by equating these two equations we can equate these two equations because uh, lhs in both the equations that is our uh, energy so we can equate the rhs of both the equations or uh, from rhs of first equation we can write h nu and uh, that of uh, equation 2 that is mc square and we know that we can write uh, instead of nu c by lambda that is equal to mc square so h by lambda is equal to mc or if you write this in terms of lambda it is h by mc and we know that product of uh, mass and velocity is nothing but a momentum mass into velocity mass into velocity is nothing but momentum and it is noted with a symbol p that is uh, lambda is equal to h by p lambda is equal to h by p this is the expression for de broglie wavelength where lambda is the de broglie wavelength and h is the planck's constant and p is the momentum linear momentum it is the product of mass and velocity so this is about a uh, expression for de broglie wavelength
and we can also express uh, uh, de Broglie wavelength in terms of uh, uh, kinetic energy as well as uh, accelerating potential accelerating potential let us discuss uh, about that that is uh, expression for de Broglie wavelength expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy expression for de Broglie wavelength expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of in terms of kinetic energy in terms of kinetic energy expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy then how do we express uh, that uh, de Broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy so for that uh, let us uh, consider the expression for the kinetic energy what is the expression for kinetic energy that is uh, kinetic energy is equal to half mv square or we can simply write instead of uh, ke just e that is equal to half mv square or we can also write this as mv square is equal to 2 times e 2 times e if you multiply and divide by m on lhs and we can write that is m square v square divided by m is equal to 2e because here multiply and divide by m on lhs multiply and divide by m on lhs that is uh, m square v square divided by m is equal to 2 into e and we know that the product of mass and velocity we call it as linear momentum what is linear momentum it is the product of mass and velocity so m square v square we can write uh, mv whole square mv is nothing but momentum that is p p square by m is equal to 2 times energy kinetic energy or if you write this in terms of p it is equal to 2 m v but we need expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy so here we can express momentum in terms of momentum is equal to 2 m e so from the expression for de Broglie wavelength we know that lambda is equal to h by p this is the expression for de Broglie wavelength where lambda is the de Broglie wavelength let's say the Planck's constant and p is the linear momentum and uh, we can write lambda is equal to h divided by instead of uh, p we can uh, replace p with this uh, 2 m e 2 m e or uh, uh, sorry here p square is equal to 2 m e but p is equal to square root of 2 m e p square is equal to 2 m e or p is equal to square root of 2 m e so for p here we have to write square root of 2m e. This is the expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of in terms of kinetic energy. This is the expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of kinetic energy. What is the expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of uh, kinetic energy? That is lambda is equal to h by square root of 2m e. Then uh, we can also express this de Broglie wavelength in terms of accelerating potential if a particle is accelerated with a potential difference v and uh, if q is the charge on that particle then we can express the de Broglie wavelength in terms of accelerating potential as that is lambda is equal to h by square root of 2m instead of uh, e you can write q into v where q is the charge e is equal to q because e is equal to uh, q into v e is equal to q into v where q is the charge of the particle and v is the potential potential difference we are going to use to accelerate that uh, charge of particle that is e is equal to q v instead of e you can write here q v this is the expression for de Broglie wavelength in terms of accelerating potential accelerating potential that is lambda is equal to h by square root of 2m q v where m is the mass of that particle q is the charge on that particle v is the accelerating potential accelerating potential like this uh, we can express the de Broglie wavelength in terms of uh, kinetic energy as well as in terms of accelerating potential
This is about a de Broglie wavelength. Let us uh, discuss briefly about the same thing that is uh, what are de Broglie waves or what are matter waves. If you ask uh, what are de Broglie waves or uh, matter waves, uh, we can explain like this that is the waves associated with the material particles in motion we call as de Broglie waves or matter waves and according to de Broglie like radiation that uh, matter also has dual nature and according to de Broglie that uh, matter exhibits uh, some material particles like electrons and neutrons exhibits wave properties along their uh, particle nature under suitable conditions. Then uh, what is that suitable condition? If the material particles are at rest, they exhibit particle nature. Along, along that particle nature, they also exhibit wave nature if they are in motion, if the particles are in motion. This is the concept of uh, de Broglie waves. And what is, uh, if they ask for, uh, uh, what is de Broglie wavelength, then uh, we can answer like this, that is, the wavelength associated, associated with the material particles in motion we call as de Broglie wavelength. What is de Broglie wavelength? The wavelength associated with the material particles in motion we call as de Broglie wavelength. And what is the expression for de Broglie wavelength? That is, uh, we can uh, uh, express, de, uh, we can uh, derive the expression for the de Broglie wavelength by considering two equations that is, uh, According to Max Planck's quantum theory of radiation, the energy of photon is given by E is equal to H nu, where H is the Planck's constant and nu is the frequency of the radiation. And according to Einstein's mass energy relation, or from uh, theory of relativity, we know that E is equal to mc square. By equating those two equations, we can uh, finally get that uh, expression for uh, de Broglie wavelength, that is uh, lambda is equal to H by P, where P is the momentum, it is the product of mass and velocity. So the final expression is lambda is equal to h by P is the expression for de Broglie wavelength. And also we can express that uh, de Broglie wavelength in terms of uh, that is uh, both uh, 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 kinetic energy as well as that is uh, accelerating potential. So that is uh, the expression for de Broglie wavelength. In terms of maximum kinetic energy is given by lambda is equal to h by square root of 2 mE. And the expression for the de Broglie wavelength in terms of that accelerating, accelerating potential is given by lambda is equal to h by 2 mQv. Uh, this is the, uh, this is all about uh, uh, de Broglie waves, uh, de Broglie wavelength and the de Broglie wavelength in terms of uh, kinetic energy and also the de Broglie wavelength in terms of accelerating potential. Okay friends, uh, if you like this video, please uh, share and uh, subscribe. Okay, thank you.